Hmm, let's see. We have lobsters, fish, anemones, many corals, feather dusters. This is great. And an octopus. So, what are you doing, little banded coral shrimp? I see you're very busy. Hey, how are you? I'm checking on my neighbors. I'm conducting kind of a survey. <laughs> a survey? Why do you need to survey the coral reef? Oh, it's very important. This is the only way to know how many different types of animals there are and what condition they're in. Let me explain. I'm not the only one checking on the coral reefs. Some humans, called marine biologists, also care about protecting the coral reefs. Once in a while, they visit us to take pictures and measurements of the corals to see how the reefs have changed over time. This helps them learn conservation measures that must be taken to protect the coral reefs. For instance, you see that coral over there? Yeah, I see it. It's called elkhorn coral. It's one of the biggest that exists on the coral reefs. And one of the most important because it is strong and forms the skeleton of the coral reefs. We have noticed there are less and less alcorn coral. If we lose them completely, we will lose the coral reefs. It's like removing the bricks from your house. Now I understand the reason for your survey and why we must take care of the coral reefs and the species that depend on it. Isn't this true? Exactly. You said something very important. This is what ecological balance means. Besides the species of coral which is endangered, there are other species like the hawksbill turtle and the conch that depend on the coral reefs to live and reproduce. Endangered species are either threatened or close to extinction and we protect them for this reason. Hmm, I know exactly what you mean. Conch is one of our favorite foods in the Bahamas. We know. This is the reason we have fishing regulations. But why do we need regulations? There are so many fish. We can never run out of them. Well, actually, some countries have already run out of conch and fish like grouper. Overfishing and illegal fishing practices have created an ecological imbalance on our coral reefs. The hawksbill turtle and conch depend on the seagrass that are found near reefs and fishing juvenile conch has led to a decrease in their population. There are so many things I was not aware of little banded coral shrimp. We definitely need to take action. I will tell the others so they can learn about the diversity of life on the coral reefs and their importance. Thanks. See you later little banded coral shrimp. You see? Taking care of the coral reef is very easy. Now that you've learned about it, I need you to help take care of it.